Hello geometers and general seekers of truth. In this video we are going to bisect this angle and uh, from the previous lessons hopefully you already know how to do this. What's key about this lesson, what's a little bit different, is we have to prove why is it that the construction works. So um, I'm going to walk through this process with you nice and slow with all the details as a nice review but also um, to work on the explanation of why it works. So the first thing that we're going to do is put the needle on B, extend this pencil, and it can almost be any length you want. So we're going to draw an arc that intersects both rays of angle B. So place the needle on B, draw an arc that intersects BA and BC. Where those intersection points occur, let's call them D and E. And it's worth noting too that by construction, and when I say by construction, I mean because we made it that way, because we drew this arc this way, Right. We know for a fact that BD must be congruent to BE. So that's very much worth noting. BE is congruent to BD okay. by construction. Now, we could keep the compass the exact same size, but it's going to run off the page a little bit. So I'm just going to shorten my compass. And again, it doesn't quite matter how big or small this is. So I'm going to try to make it does we don't want to make it too small, but I'm just going to shorten it a little bit. Put the needle on D and draw an arc. And very much what's critical is that we keep the compass the same size now. Put the needle on E and draw another arc. So put the needle on E and draw another arc. So let me write down those steps. So place the needle on D and draw an arc. Okay, that's what we did earlier. With the compass the exact same size, put the needle on E and draw another arc as well. And where those arcs intersect, We'll call, we shall call this point F. Okay? Wherever they intersect, call it F. And the claim is that BF is the bisector of angle ABC. Okay? So where the, where the two arcs intersect each other, we're going to put a point there. We're going to name that point F. And our claim is that BF correctly and precisely bisects angle ABC. Now we've done this before and hopefully you're familiar with it, but what's new about today is that we need to show why this works. Why is it exactly that um, this process always works? Well, let me show you something. Let me connect E to F and D to F. Now one thing that we definitely know for sure is that DF and EF are congruent. <coughs> well, why? Well, because we made it that way. We constructed them. Remember that when we did this, we made sure that keeping the compass the same size. From D we drew an arc. From E we drew an arc. Right? And keeping the compass the same size, meaning that the segments that we produce have to be exactly um, congruent. So now I'm going to name this angle 1 and angle 2. And what we really need to show is that angle 1 and 2 are congruent. So proof that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And it's not too difficult to do. We can do it in about four different steps. So the first thing that I'm going to say is in that BD is congruent to BE. And this is given you know, by construction. 
In other words, we made it that way. We used a compass and straight edge to make it that way. Okay. Next, DF is congruent to EF for the exact same reason as above. It's given by construction. We made it that way. Finally, if you notice this segment down here in the middle, BF, that is exactly congruent to itself by an underrated yet powerful property known as the reflexive property. And so now we have a side of a triangle, another side, and another side. So these two triangles right here, the top and the bottom, must be congruent to each other. So triangle BDF must be congruent to triangle BEF by the side, side, side postulate. And therefore, angle 1 must be congruent to angle 2 because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. C, P, C, T, C. <coughs> okay. So uh, we've take, we elevated our construction to another level here by not just doing the construction, but by proving that the construction works every single time using the properties, postulates, and theorems that we already know. And uh, this is what we're going to do as we go forward, which is when we construct and when we do something, uh, we are not just going to do it. We are going to do it and then show uh, precisely why it works. Now, uh, I have one more example here that you should watch in the next video about bisecting a side uh, a segment. And uh, you should try it for yourself and then watch the video and then see if uh, you're correct. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.